Salutations, viewers. My name is Game Dave, and welcome back to No One a Game Dame uh, Legends of Runeterra patch notes review. Now, we have patch 3.10.0 out, and this one's all about card updates, which is really, really awesome. We got, well, that's the main gist of it card updates. We have uh, the Path of Champions updates, some more skins, emotes, and boards, and of course, our miscellaneous and bug fixes. But in this patch, as always, I'm going to read the first instance. Here's a look at each of the card updates coming in this patch. Scout has been removed as a uh, gener generatable or, uh, keyword, i.e. hex core upgrade, pantheon, the arsenal, and acceleration gate. It's important to have a mix of keywords of varying strength. Scout often outperforms as a generatable uh, keyword, so we're removing it from the pool. These outliers can be frustrating for gameplay experiences. Uh, so we'd like to smooth the experience out while having achievable highs and lows of using random keyword uh, generation. So copy spells now count as played, i.e. Karma, Tarek, Mirror Mage, and uh, Jace. So they're following up on their play cache changes and they wanted to ensure that champions that copy spells are satisfying, exciting in the long term, which is highly appreciated because, I mean, that is basically all of Karma's kit. Um, now, when we get to the champions and related cards... They had did a bug fix um, for a well, not a bug fix, but more so this is a level up condition. So now counts power reduction on units that already have zero power. So uh, Ash should they say they said Ash should be somewhat less sad about being unable to level off a of formidable formidable units. <laughs> less sad. I like the terminology that they use. Uh, now the new level up condition. Uh, now counts units that buff their own stats. So it's additional deck building possibilities. Ezreal, his incre level up condition increased to 8 plus targets. Uh, for Hecarim, they change ephemeral, al ephemeral allies have three plus 3 point plus 0. And now it changed to when I level up, grant ephemeral allies everywhere plus 3 plus 0. So when you level up, it's not just automatically it's just when he levels up it would it's just just a terminology issue Aurelia uh, hers went from quick attack to quick attack a tune for her keywords uh, same thing with her level two and then Callista her base stats changed slightly got nerfed from a four three to a three four I mean some see this as a nerf some see this as a buff it's just a swap of stats and I think this will give her much more longe longevity um, she, Shen, I almost said Sheen. Shen, uh, his keyword was none, then to barrier, and now he has a level up requirement where he's seen four ally, where he's seen allies gain barrier four plus times, and now it's, I've seen allies gain barrier five plus times. And then, um, the same keyword requirements are with Shen's level two. Uh, now with follower spells and landmarks, Aftershock used to cost four mana, now it's three. And then the change used to be deal three to anything or destroy a landmark. And now it's deal three to a unit or destroy a landmark. Uh, Avatar of the Tides. Base stats were five, four, five. Now it got buffed to four, six. Uh, Avarosan Hearthguard did get buffed from five, five to five, six. Uh, Babbling Bjerg got buffed from three, three to three, four. Uh, Blighted Caretaker got buffed to one, one to two, one. Bright Steel Protector got nerfed from 3-2 to 2-1. And Camavaron Dragon got buffed from a 4-3 to a 4-4. Chief Nakutak uh, got a nerf in the base stats from a 3-3 to a 2-4. And the terminology changed from when an ally transforms it, fully heal it to grant plus one, plus one. Now it's when an ally transforms, fully heal it, uh, grant it plus one, plus one, and impact. So that's a... That's it's kind of like a give and take. So this the the stats are a little bit changed. Like it's not terrible. It has more health, less less attack. But I think this is a buff overall to this card. Uh, it makes it much more formidable in the field with its um, with its text. Crumble used to cost five, then it got buffed to four, so it's less cost. Uh, disintegrate. Uh, it the change is damage mi mitigation now prevents units dying from disintegrate's effect interesting okay so they wanted to add more healthy counterplay to disintegrate increase the clarity of its text and effect and fix several buggy edge cases gotcha 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 for ember monk uh the cost got buffed so it used to be four now it's three but the base stats got nerfed a bit so less cost but less attack so it was a three three now it's a two three for us financer uh got nerfed so it was two two now it is a two one 
Gleaming Lantern got nerfed, so it was a 3-3. Now it's a 3-2. Hothead got nerfed. Some would say this is a nerf. Some would say this is a buff. I think this is a nice balance. Uh, it used to be a 4-2. Now it's a 3-3. So it's a 3-mana 3-3. I still think it's good for the cost. Even a 3-mana 4-2 was good, but it makes it a little bit more viable. But it's not as, uh, as a heavy hitter. Uh, Inspiring Marshall. Its base stats were 4-5. Now it got buffed to 5-6. Justice Rider was 3-4. Now it got buffed to 3-5. Uh, Kihari the Returned cost 6 mana. Now it got buff to five mana costs but the base stats did get nerfed so it's it went down one level for each so this is i would say a nerf overall because it's no longer a four four even if the even if the cost is a little bit better uh lady of blood got buffed for with her attack so she was a two four now she's a three four lava lizard uh didn't have a keyword but now it has impact Legion Deserter used to have Overwhelm, not get changed to Fearsome, which I still think this is a good change, but that reduces the ability, as what they say here, to outright and end your opponent's career permanently, which I actually really like as that for a change. Uh, Merc Wolf Shaman, its base stats were 3 3, now it's 2 4, so that got nerfed. And then Merc Wolf Ranger was 5 6, now it's 4 6, so that both of those got a bit of a nerf. Um, Petrocyte Broadwing, it's Used to have a keyword of challenger. Now it got nerfed to having no keyword. Uh, new, if, But it has a new effect. When you summon an ally, grant me challenger. So it did get a nerf. So it's no longer just a challenger card. But it can only do it on play. So when you summon it. Promising future. So it used to cost four. Now it's six. So that got nerfed in cost. Probably because what they say. Greatly slowing down the ability to double down on landmarks for free. Introduce more obvious windows for... Gotcha. That's, a, that's pretty good. But still definitely a nerf for the card. Uh, quicksand. So the text used to be when targeting two units, give them minus two, minus zero, and disable positive keywords this round. But then uh, that got nerfed. So when targeting two units, uh, give them minus zero, minus one, and disable their positive. So it's no longer a minus two, it's minus one. So this card did get a bit of a nerf for it. Um, Resplendent Stellacorn got buffed from a four five to a five six. So it went up plus one, plus one. Riptide Rex uh, got buffed by a plus one plus one, so it's no longer 6 4, but now it's a 7 5. And they changed his text from Plunder. Play Cannon Barrage six times on randomly targeted enemies, and now it's changed to Plunder. Play Cannon Barrage seven times on randomly targeted enemies, so that's a buff overall for this card, and it'll be a lot more viable for its cost. Uh, Sands of Time changed from Instant Sentry is now Fleeting. Uh, squeaker, 1 1 to 1 2, so that's a buff. The Arsenal, 8-6 to 9-7, so that's a plus one, plus one buff. The uh, Prefect used to be a 1-3, now it's a 2-3, so that's a plus one, plus zero buff. Trifarian uh, Assessor got the cost went down, so that is a buff towards this card. So it used to be five, now it's four. Vanguard First Blade used to be a 2-2, now it's a 3-3. Windfair Hatchling used to be a 4-2, now it's a 4-3. So that got a slight buff in the plus zero, plus one health department. Yordle Contra Contraption. Used to cost five, now it's four, so that's a buff in the cost department. And then last but not least, Zenith Blade used to have Grant Overwhelm. Now it's Give Overwhelm this this round. Definitely change in terminology, still does something very similar. They do have a Path of Champions update. So they're smoothing out shard acquisition in the Path of Champions, introducing wild fragments. Uh, they can be used in place of champion fragments to unlock star up of any champion in the Path of Champions. Um, players who have already earned uh, excess champion fragments will retroactively receive wild fragments. Uh, you can read a little bit more here, but you can earn champion fragments uh, that exceeds the amount to get a champion to three stars. And players can receive wild fragments from some weekly and daily quests, as well as they're opening the option to spend coins to unlock champions instead of champ instead of champion fragments or wild fragments. Um, we got some personalized skins here. Some champion skins. So I'm not trying to save it. Oh, I really like this for Nami. I think this is a great skin for Nami. Wait, is that that's Lee Sin and is that Garrett's? I can't tell. But what's uh I wanna see this here. Oh, that's pretty cool. I like that. Her face looks kind of funky though. Uh oh, we got a bard skin. Alright, let's see his board when he's played.
Bard always looks good. I like his skin. Nami loves Bard. Yeah, that's a very good, that's a very nice uh, Bard edition that they have in here. Bard, Bard. Such a good skin uh, in game, too. Now they have uh, Fizz Finslayer. Fucking Fizz. I hate this goddamn stupid Yordle fish. Literally one of my least favorite characters to play against because I was a Lux main when I played the game quite a lot. That shark will forever haunt me. And then we got Monk Lee Sin. He kicks the dice. I love that. That actually I love so much. And then we have Zillion Wisewood. I didn't even see. I love this skin for Zillion. That is such a cool skin for Zillion and Riftmaster Darius. So he, I knew that was like a da I knew that was Darius right there. Darius uh I didn't recognize him with the helmets, but now now that makes a lot more sense seeing him like that with the helmet. Then we got a board. So this is called Tabletop Tavern. We got some emotes, snooze fest, uh, outclass, and then we got the miscellaneous and the forever, uh, ever, never ending bug fixes. Good patch. I like this patch. They uh, definitely updated terminology. They did a lot of card updates, a lot of balancing issues. As always, what Riot constantly has to do because some of these packs and cards are way too crazy so let me know in the comments down below what you guys thought of this patch as always every patch is just as important and i do appreciate the more balance in this one instead of just being bug fixes and a giant patch but that is all the time i have for you guys today thank you guys so much for watching i highly appreciate your time as always but please do not forget to subscribe and or follow not only to my youtube but to my twitch you guys know where my youtube is at you can find my twitch at twitch.tv slash the game dame thanks guys and i'll see you in the next video Bye bye